It is truly an honor to be here, and like many of my colleagues here today, this is my first time in uh, Turkey. And I'm absolutely uh, blown away by your culture, by your energy, by your enthusiasm, and everything that you are. And I certainly hope this is not my last visit to Turkey. And so what I want to share with you is a very, very powerful message because we're talking a lot about a healthy living movement. Yes? Yes? Okay, you need to play along with me. Yes? Okay, much better. All right, that's warming up because I am here as your self-appointed chief health motivation officer. Is that okay? If you like that, let me hear some noise. Okay. And certainly I hope that's okay with our founder. Okay, good, I got a thumbs up, woo! Okay, now with that being said, that means I need to be brutally honest with you. Is that okay? Say yes. Okay. Because as a doctor, one of the hardest things to do is to be brutally honest with your patients and to sometimes tell them things that they don't want to hear. Do I have your permission to do so? If you say yes, then I have your permission. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Now for me, my philosophy of health is very simple. Eat your fruits, eat your vegetables, get your lean protein, get your exercise, take care of your family, and supplement properly. Pretty easy. The question is, are you really doing it? And let me ask you a question, because I ask this throughout the United States. And since we have translation going on, just make some noise, okay? I want to hear by a round of applause... How many of you are eating six to ten servings of fruits and vegetables every single day? Round of applause. Okay. Thank you for that. That's a pretty small round of applause, wouldn't you agree? Yes? So that tells me right now that you are nutritionally deficient that you are not getting the vital micronutrients, the antioxidants, the polyphenols, the bioflavonoids that everybody needs to function properly. And when we don't get that nutrition, the body starts to malfunction and starts to create disease. Yes? Now this is where I want to get really honest with you. Is that okay still? Say yes. Are you sure? All right. This is going to be really important. Okay, because I see a lot of you doing this, so I thought I'd see what the big deal is. And honestly, I want to have a heart-to-heart -heart chat as if you were sitting in my clinic right now. And how important this message is that I'm about to share with you. Because every single day, you make choices that determine whether you're actually truly living a healthy living movement. And what is that choice? Well, I thought I would get something out. See if I don't break it here. Here we go. What? You're doing it? Many of you are. All right, let me let me do a little survey. Okay, hang in there with me. How many of you were shocked to see me put this in my mouth? Say, whoa. Okay. How many of you say, oh, yeah, go ahead, Dr. Andreas? Okay, there's some of you there. How many of you say, no way, Dr. Andreas, stay away? Okay. All right, very good. It just gives me a little idea of the room. Okay, so I want to talk to all of you that say, yes, go do this. Because I'm going to tell you right now, my heart bleeds for you. Because this little benign stick is not so benign. Yeah, it looks like a piece of paper and it's got some leaves rolled up in it. But if you actually think about it, 
there's over 600 ingredients in this thing alone. That when you actually light it, elicits 7,000 chemicals that flood your body, that destroy and wreak havoc on virtually every organ in your body. Not to mention, of those 7,000 chemicals, 69 of them are carcinogenic, meaning they cause cancer. And in my research in Turkey, the third leading cause of death in, the United, or in Turkey is lung cancer. Do you think that's a coincidence? Now look, I love you, and you know how passionate I am about health and wellness, but I see what you all are doing. How congruent would I be if I was going to be your chief health wellness officer and I were up here smoking, telling you how to live a healthy life? Make some noise if you would believe me. You sure about that? You'd believe me still. Look, you have choices to make, guys. But I can tell you right now, what's so amazing about the, when I look at Europe, all the amazing, beautiful people that you are, and what a beautiful country it is. Yeah, we've got obesity problems in the United States, but smoking is a big problem here. Because I've seen it even in my fellow home country in Germany. I see it everywhere. I can't even walk through it. I can't even breathe. And it's secondhand smoke that is just as bad. So if it's not for yourself, maybe it's even for your family, for your children, for your wife, for your husband, for your mother, for your father, your son, your daughter. Because I want you all to be here for a long time. Because when you look at the statistics up there, 95% of chronic disease is caused by food choices and the choices that you make on a daily basis. Which means they are preventable. Now if I'm being serious, I am being dead serious, deadly serious. I strongly challenge you to not only take that step forward, as Chad said, but to also think about what one habit do you no longer need? Not only plus one, but what about minus one? Because the thing that I find ironic is people won't think twice about inhaling this and all of its chemicals, and now all of a sudden they're on their bandwagon about the ingredients that are found in our triangle. If you're smoking, I can tell you right now, the ingredients of the triangle are the least of your worries. And I would argue you have a greater need for the triangle than anyone. You have a tremendous opportunity here in Turkey because only 3 or 5% of the entire population uses the product. Challenge them and be the example yourself. Make that plus one, but think about what that one habit is that you no longer need that is no longer serving you. Maybe it is smoking. And if you don't smoke, maybe it's processed food. Maybe it's too much sugar. Maybe because you're not exercising. Whatever that is for you. So I have a challenge for you. Are you ready for a challenge? Say yes. Okay? So here's my challenge, guys. 90 days. It's a simple formula health. Right? You can do this. Junk food, processed food, pharmacology. I mean, I took this picture from your airport when I got off the plane. It says smoking kills, you'll die younger. And then I walked out of the airport into a cloud of smoke. I couldn't even breathe, right? So you have that or you have this. 